All right, so this is technique drill, the spin move for re rotation. This is probably my most favorite drill of all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the saber, put it right up over here over my shoulders. Now you may or may not have the flexibility to get it all the way down here. You may wanna just crisscross your arms in front of your chest. But basically what you're working on is the spin and the rotation. Now I'm gonna move from a vertical spin down into my posture. I like to do it up here. So one of the first things I'll do when I grab my saber, if I'm warming up on the driving range, is I'll take my stance, put it fairly narrow, and I'll just kind of set my body in motion. Now there's some momentum because of the weight of the saber, it has one heavy end. It will swing you further in one way and then further in the other direction. So because it's not perfectly balanced, you're actually using some momentum to create that stretch. So make sure you start out kind of slow to begin with, right? Once you've got your rotation going here, then you can take a wider stance and actually rotate bigger. Kind of use your hips, get everything going. Now as you can see, I've got good range of motion. I've been doing this move ever since I was about six years old. That's why I like it so much. It's really helped me to develop a consistent swing that's powerful, that will also give me a lot of flexibility and rotation as I get older. So then what I'm gonna do, take my posture, right? So just like in the pre-shot routine one, grip, stance, bow, pop. Okay, now I'm in this position. Now I'm working on a rotation that again is symmetrical. Now the, whether the ball's moving or not, no big deal. But if you want to use it for tempo, just keep your ears open. Because what you'll find is if you're gliding from one place to the other, that ball will have a nice rhythmical sound to it. If I want to increase that, you can hear that change in the rhythm. This is as full rotation as I'm gonna work on, getting all the way back and all the way through, because at this point, I'm trying to stretch out and be as flexible as I can. So, that saber technique of rotation, if you can work your body into the type of rotation that I was doing right there, that will really help you with good technique, good distance, and good consistency.